I made what is possibly the most important animation of my career so far, and now I'm finally at liberty to talk with you about it. This video is going to get personal. Let's start with some backstory here. As a teenager, my brother was diagnosed with leukemia, a cancer of the blood. It was a big shock for my family. We all put on brave faces, but we were shaken. And I have no photographs from this period of time. I never heard him complain as he was going through chemotherapy, not a single time. He would joke, but he was resolute that he's gonna fight this and he's gonna beat it. The cancer chose to mess with the wrong guy. Uh Very nice. Because of an amazing team of staff, modern technology, public health funding, and my brother's resilient spirit, he fought this over the course of several years. And now, well, now he's stronger than he ever was before. He's living life to the absolute fullest, and I couldn't be more proud of him. Cancer has always been in the background of my life somewhere. Uh, even before that. My mother is an oncologist, has dedicated much of her life to developing cancer treatment. During car journeys as a young boy, I would ask her endless questions about microorganisms and the human body. No doubt she had hopes that I might one day follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. Later I chose to answer my own calling to become an animator. I anticipated that there would be some kind of resistance, but to my surprise she actually gave me her full support. She once told me that she would support me in whatever I chose to do, as long as I strive to be the best in the field and make a positive impact on the world with what I do. And I will always be grateful for that. So when I got the opportunity to work for T3 Pharma, it felt like the parts of my life were aligning. T3 Pharmaceuticals is an award-winning biopharmaceutical company working to advance a new generation of therapies for cancer patients developing highly specific and efficient treatments using live bacteria. When they came to me, they needed a way to communicate their complex immunotherapy in a short kind of elevator pitch. This pitch would be used to introduce the core ideas to stakeholders and build awareness of T3 Pharma's special biotechnology. Understanding the needs of the clients, they needed a short animation around one minute preferably, condensing complex information into an engaging visual story with a hand-drawn aesthetic and something that was dynamic and that would appeal to investors and really showcase the amazing technology they had developed. It became clear that 2D animation was the ideal method of communication for this. My mother is an oncologist, so we had the perfect combination of skills. She had the expert knowledge to be able to explain the concept and simplify it into a way that I, as a creative, without a background in science, would understand. Once I had a rudimentary understanding of this process, I was able to do what I do best, which is create a visual story. Condensed down into a nutshell, this is how I understand T3 Pharma's technology. T3 Pharma engineers a special bacteria called Yersinia endrocolitica. This bacteria is normally a bit of a nuisance, which just goes around injecting cells with proteins using its micro needles. But T3 Pharma have found a way to replace the ordinary proteins it naturally has with these specifically engineered proteins. So how can this bacteria be used to treat cancer? Well, let's say we have a solid tumor like in this example. The bacteria can now be injected into the bloodstream where it will find its way to the tumor. Only the bacteria that take refuge in the tumor survive. The rest of them are destroyed by the body's immune system. When the cancer cells are injected with these proteins, it triggers the cancer cells to release cytokines, these small protein signals like a distress flare, which signal to the white blood cells of the body's immune system, it basically says, eat me. So the white blood cells then have the go ahead to destroy the cancer cells. And this is what I think is really a cool thing about immunotherapy. 
it repurposes bacteria and uses the body's own immune system to destroy the cancer cells. So while I did have this expert on my side for this, I also spent many days observing images from the electron micrograph. How intensely detailed they are. It really makes you realize that there is a world invisible to us that we can't see and it's got some crazy stuff happening and this is happening within our own bodies. I also found myself researching macro environments as well as micro. A lot of photography taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, there's this strong parallel between the round floaty shapes of microorganisms and the shapes of planets, stars and solar systems. Thoughtful design was going to be essential. There are some things I had to avoid as well in the design of this animation. I had to show blood, but I couldn't show it as being gory. So I had to make it abstract a little bit. My solution to this was to make the color choice of the inner body, this pink beige color, closer to that of skin tones, which we naturally find quite comforting. I had to show a nude human body, but I didn't want to show a naked human body. This part was actually pretty simple. I just didn't draw certain lines near the private parts of the body and that actually tended to work. But as well as that, you can do them in this kind of inverse color scheme, like an X-ray color scheme, and it makes it abstract enough for you to show that kind of stuff without feeling too um, revealing. For this, I used TV paint. I did a complete run through of the animatic and I had an emphasis on visual clarity. So I was doing this with still images played in sequence one after another. All the fancy stuff can come later, but at this moment, it needs to communicate. That's the first thing. And of course, I needed to pass it to the experts on this who could correct certain things and make sure that it's factually accurate enough there is a line somewhere there where you want to be factually accurate but you also want it to look good and so it's a bit of a compromise there at certain times. Once I had the go-ahead on the animatic I could then take it through to production. Now in production that's where I create a specialized pipeline for the animation process and this time around I wanted to have the textured handmade look of TV paint while still having the precision and control and advanced effects of After Effects. So I wanted both of these things. And so I developed a special pipeline which used the best of both of these softwares. I was able to create assets in TV Paint and export them from TV Paint and arrange them and bring them into Adobe After Effects. And then in some cases, Afterwards, I would export from Adobe After Effects back into TV Paint for some more hand-drawn animation. Once I knew how to export and import image sequences in both of these software, I could go back and forth between them as many times as I wanted. I could flow seamlessly from After Effects into Photoshop into TV Paint. It was also cool to be able to use the 3D stage effect in After Effects for some of these shots. That really added a dimension to some of these shots where it really felt like there was 3D space between these cells. At times, I would also make these cell animations into custom TV paint brushes. So doing live brushwork where my brush stroke was the cell path. Here you can see I've created this animation loop over multiple layers. I can now compress those layers down into a single layer, convert that into a custom brush which will stamp the frame by frame animation. Do a few rehearsals of the motion path I want to capture, record it, play it back, and if I want to I can add more layers of motion, for example I can tween the performance. 
It was also really fast and efficient. And the cells were kind of the perfect thing to capture using this tool, the custom brush tool. I have 55 layers so far. This was a really exciting shot as well, where the white blood cells are destroying the cancerous cells. I don't know how the white blood cells do this, but they somehow uh, destroy the cancer cells with this method. So I created this special sparkly custom brush in TV Paint. What you're seeing there when it sprays the cancerous cell like that, I'm actually painting that with this sparkly custom brush that I made. Using assets was really useful for being efficient in the animation process. So when any of these cells get destroyed by that uh, sparkly effect, I just switch out that cell for the destruction sequence. And so I only had to animate the destruction sequence once and then I could use it again and again and again for whenever the cell was being destroyed. Here I'm creating a particle effect using a method I call the swarm technique. I love using this technique, it's a very easy and fast technique which is at the foundation of a lot of my effects animation. If you've never animated anything before, I can teach you to create a swarm animation of your own within an hour of first learning how to animate, I'm serious. It's a lot of fun and you don't even need any drawing skills for this one. It's the first walkthrough in my online course, Getting Started in 2D Animation. From there, I walk you through progressively more advanced animation exercises like the bouncing ball, the robot walk, full body walk, and more. I've also got drawing tutorials in there and storyboarding tutorials. It's designed to have everything you need to independently make animated films of your own. So check out the great deal on this course. It's the first link in the description of this video. I want to tie this back to the beginning of the video and how I decided to answer my calling to become an animator. So a lot of young animators have told me that they're facing parent pressure to become doctors or scientists instead of answering their calling to become animators. Now, on this T3 Pharma project, this group of highly specialized amazing skilled physicians and scientists they needed someone with a creative skill set a visual skill set who could visually translate how their technology works they didn't need another doctor they needed an artist i have learned that in the human body the whole system achieves something extraordinary 
because there is a wide variety of different organisms all doing their thing. And just like in the human body, society needs a lot of people from different backgrounds with different passions to play their part. Doctors are like superheroes in my eyes, but the world doesn't need miserable doctors. The world needs you to do what you do best. And in the long run, the thing that you do best at is the thing that you love to do. The benefits of artists are all around us. It's like the air we breathe, it's all around us and yet it's taken for granted. So if you're an artist or if you're aspiring to be an artist, I see you, I appreciate you, keep doing your thing, the world needs you. Thank you.